Hello, I'm Victoria, and today's video topic is going to be about three of Ableton's synthesizers, Analog, Operator, and Wavetable. I chose these three because they are the most accessible to live users. If you're using 10 Suite, you're going to get all three of these included. But if you use 9, you still get Analog and Operator, just not Wavetable. Um, I also want to let you guys know that it is not only accessible to Suite users. So if you use Standard or even Intro, you can go and purchase these synthesizers separately on Ableton's website. Um, analog is $99, Operator $99, and Wavetable is $159. So I wanted to kind of highlight in this video the features that separate these plugins from you going out and purchasing other third-party synthesizers. These plugins are very, very powerful and impactful. And one of my favorite things about them is that they are low CPU. So you get these big, lush, amazing sounds without bogging down your computer. So um, we'll go on ahead and just jump right into it. We are going to talk about analog first. All right, so the first synthesizer that we're going to be starting off with is Analog. So Analog is a analog modeling synthesizer that was created in partnership with Applied Acoustic Systems. So Applied Acoustic Systems just has um, so many of their own plugins that they use their special um, physical modeling synthesis protocol, and they sound very, very good. They make one of my favorite plugins, kind of third party. But anyways... Um, they did just a beautiful job with the synthesizer. So we'll hear it here in a few minutes, but first to do a broad overview, Analog has two oscillators on it. So you can see here, both of them are on and activated and both of them are on saw right now. But we do have four different waves that we can choose from as you can see right here. And then um, if we go on ahead and just play the original patch, So that's what you're going to hear right when you open up analog. So we can um, adjust the octave, the semitone, and we can also detune. Now I'm going about this video um, with the assumption that there's a basic knowledge of um, just synthesizers and what they normally contain, um, just because we don't want to go too into depth on this particular synthesizer or any of them with basic functions. So anyways, um, we're going to talk about the filters. So you can route each oscillator to a filter or to both filters but um, the filters here you have five different types um, you have low pass band pass notch high pass and formant so we'll give them all a little bit of a listen here And pass. I got notch. All right, got our high pass. I just absolutely love it. Just sounds so sweeping. And then we got our formant. As you can hear, very resonant. <laughs> So we're just going to stick it back onto low pass because real quick, I wanted to go on ahead and talk about the noise function on here. So it helps give it that nice fuzziness. There you go. So adds a little bit of warmth to it. And all of these functions can be mimicked on the second oscillator, except for the noise. That's just kind of universal. So let's go on ahead and talk about amp now. So the amp is where you're going to control kind of the master ADSR of each 
oscillator. <laughs> so what I really like about the ADSR on here is that you have um, linear and exponential. So linear, you can see, is kind of more traditional. It has more of a slope to it, and it's very hard lines. Or exponential, you got some curves in there. So this is another way of ADSRing. So that's what that's all about. You can get different characteristics and have some fun with that. We're going to jump over real quick, go over to the LFO. So you can see it just has a standard sine wave going on on there. You can change it to a number of different waves, whatever you feel like doing. It's all up to you, the user. But we're just going to do a quick demonstration, something easy on the frequency um, for the filter. So you can change it between hertz and um, syncing it. All right, and then um, we can also just kind of take a look at the usage of both of LFOs. Sorry. So you can see they're independent of each other. And not quite as obvious of a change as I was hoping for, but it's, it's there. Let's see if we can kind of mess with it a little bit to show you. So let's go on ahead and um, we're just going to jump real quick and just kind of run out of time to talk about analog. So we're going to come over here just to kind of the master section. That's the best way I can describe it. So we got vibrato. So that one's lots of fun. Make it all wiggly. And then we got unison detune here and you can also adjust how many voices you want it goes up to four and then we got a glide we're gonna kind of turn it up a bit so it'll be more obvious So it just feels like it's never going to make it to its destination on that setting. But yeah, um, so that's analog in a nutshell. So we're going to go on ahead and, oh, sorry, one last quick thing. I wanted to talk about the routing. Just um, You can adjust how the um, oscillators go into each filter. You can see it's just set up to be oscillator filter amp, OFA. So you can kind of mess with it and see what preference you want. There are no rules with this. All right, now we're going to go on ahead and move over to operator. So we have operator pulled up here. And you can see that it is a four oscillator um, FM synthesizer frequency modulation. So basically the frequencies of each of these oscillators is going to and then modulate with the other. Hard to explain, but we'll hear it here in a second. So this is the default patch, just sine wave and only one of the oscillators is turned up. Now you have 22 different, I mean, waveforms to choose from. So that one's a saw. Got us a square. And um, also, um, let's go on ahead. And put it back to sign. All right, so let's turn up this second oscillator. Make that one into a song. We'll build on top of that. The square, and then we're just gonna turn up this last one real quick and make it a triangle. So I also wanted to point out real quick that there is a user setting. So I'm going to turn off these other ones just so that we can hear it. So this, sorry, 
wrong oscillator. All right, so this one, we can kind of draw our own oscillator or waveform, if you will. So we're going to go on ahead and touch on the different ways on how they modulate each other. So we've got the fine tune, where it kind of goes up in increments, smaller fractional increments. So you can hear that it's messing with the original signal from um, the oscillator A. adjust more dramatically. So you can do that and you can have all of these modulating each other. Just um, a lot of fun that can be had with it. I wanted to touch on fixed real quick. So fixed goes based off of just the frequency that you choose right there and then. So I'm gonna play a few keys here. So I was playing a different key on the keyboard, but it all sounded the same because it is in fixed mode. So I've never really used that application myself, but it's nice to have it there for, I'm sure, some purposes. So let's go on ahead and pop on over to this little pitch section. I'm going to skip the, uh, the LFO and the filter because those aren't really different than most other synths. So here, let me make an adjustment over to sign. It's just easier to show. So here, it can kind of slope up or down to the pitch that you want it to be. That's a pretty one. Go spread. You got time, which when you have it down doesn't really seem to do anything. But when you have it up, it just kind of settles into it after a second there. Lastly, just real quick, we're going to talk about the routing that you can have the oscillators modulate each other with. So right now that's just a standard setting, just A, B, C, D. And from here you can also um, adjust the polyphony. You can either make it monophonic or up to 20 notes polyphony. So I don't have that many fingers, but hey, if you're using a pedal, then you can do it. And then lastly, we are going to do, just talk about pan key because it's really cool. So pan key will let you adjust um, the panning based off of where you are on the actual keyboard. So we're going to turn all of those off just so you can hear a little bit better. And it's really low. You can't hear that note yet. But we're just going to turn it up. And you can see that it's more pan to the left. As I go up, it starts to gradually center itself. And then start to go over to the right. So um, analog has a similar feature and it's a little bit more noticeable. Um, it does kind of really hard panning left and right, but we didn't go over that part. So you can control many different parameters um, using like your MIDI keys, like the actual keys, aftertouch, um, the pitch bend, mod will, and also just using velocity, how hard you're hitting it. So that's all we have for operator for now. Let's pop on over to wavetable. Okay, so here's a wavetable. I had to pull it up, sorry about that. So it is wavetable synthesis, and we have over 100 um, wavetables to work with in this, which is amazing. And um, just here's the basic patch. Simple sine wave. Now um, we have again, a whole list of, this is just the basic <laughs> wavetables that it offers. And we have menus and menus full of them. 
Well, that was a little bit intense, but we'll mess with that later. So you have a second oscillator where you can do even more wavetables. So same, it has the same options as the first one, but let's just stick one on there real quick. And what's so amazing about it is like you can just merge between them so seamlessly and it doesn't take any CPU. Now you can also drop your own samples, which is amazing. Um, I've done it a couple times, but really I, I like working with the ones that it comes with. It just comes with great waves to work with. So let's go on ahead and pop back over here. And then we're going to stick another wave on there so we have something to mess with. Now, there's also a sub off. So it's down there. If, you, if your headphones don't have any bass, then you may not hear it as much, but we got that. And then we also have our filters. So I like to run mine in kind of a parallel because you get to use both of them at the same time. Rolling off the bottoms and the tops. So nice sound. And we have our mod sources over here. And sorry, I'm trying to make it quick. I don't want to keep you all here forever. So our standard ADSR. And then we get envelopes for a couple of other parameters. And you can really route it to wherever. Now we got our LFO, many different waves to oscillate. I just like doing filtering because it just is obvious. As well as pitch, it's a very obvious one that's modulating. And then we're going to get just the second one so you can see they're both independent of each other, even though they're post moving at the same Right at this point, but you get it. And if you want to actually add something to the matrix, it's really easy. You just click on the parameter that you want to adjust. So I'm just going to click on this sweeping wave selector. That's the official name. You can have a lot of fun with it. I've made some really cool sounds, and I'm sorry this video does not include awesome sounds. I'm just going to clear these out, and we're going to jump right into the MIDI matrix. Um, so you can adjust many different parameters. My favorite, again, is pitch to show in examples because it's very obvious. So the harder I hit my key, the higher the pitch is going to be. So I'm just going to be playing middle C. Watch. So again, that was all middle C. I was just hitting it at um, different velocities. So the harder you hit it, the higher it is. The softer you hit it, the lower it is. Um, pretty pretty self-explanatory. So lastly, I want to talk about unison because I just am in love with the unison setting that comes with Wavetable. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, Shimmer is my favorite. So we're going to listen to that. between many different ones, but my favorite is still Shimmer above all of them. So you can select how many voices. And also the amount of detuning going on. Okay, that is all the time that I have to talk about the three synthesizers. So thank you so much for listening to me just kind of point out my favorite features. So real quick, um, ones I went over, analog, the analog modeling synthesizer, operator, frequency modulation synthesizer, and wavetable, new in live 10 and amazing wavetable synthesizer. Thank you so much.